This crossover accident this morning on the Selman Expressway tied up traffic for hours. It's the second time a vehicle has crossed the median and hit an oncoming car in just the past four months. Now both happening along the same stretch of road where there's no wall or guardrail. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser shows you how the expressway is now moving up its timetable to install a protected barrier in a story that you'll see only right here on 10. This was the wreck that tied up traffic for hours on the Selman Expressway this morning. A pickup truck losing control of its trailer, which police say swung across the median, striking a minivan head on. If someone loses control going this way and someone crosses the median and hits somebody, I mean, that's obviously, I mean, that's danger right there. In August, three people were killed in another head on accident along this same stretch of road. No barrier walls, no guardrail to keep vehicles from crossing over. I mean, you hear about them a lot, absolutely, the crossover crashes and so. There's obviously uh, some room for improvement there. Getting. Yeah, exactly. You can veer off onto the other side and hit a car. As I've got two little ones, so it, it would be nice, I guess, to have something a little more, you know, feel a little safer. Before the collision in August, authorities with the expressway say there had been only one previous crossover accident in the last four years. Now, there have been two in just four months. It does make it more timely, yeah. Sue Charzan with the Tampa Hillsborough Expressway Authority says because of the speed limit through the area and a previously low accident rate, they weren't scheduled to add a barrier until the roadway is expanded several years from now. Instead, this month, they plan to refinance some of the toll roads bond debt and use $7 million in savings to accelerate the project schedule. So we're looking at going into construction in 2019 and hopefully being done by 2020. Officials say they were planning to expedite the project even before this morning's accident, underscoring the potential danger of a stretch of road currently offering little more than a patch of grass between commuting and chaos. In South Tampa, Eric Glasser, 10 News.